Can't do without the Subtle branding. branding. <laughs> Subtle. You want a cappuccino? You want a latte, a macchiato? We do need a spoon, unless you want to do it with your finger. Aditya, welcome to Film Companion. Thank you. I've been trying to make this interview happen for a while and I have to tell you that when word got out in the office that I was shooting with you, uh, for the first time, a lot of my colleagues have volunteered to like come along. Oh, I'm <laughs> flattered. <laughs> That's, is, is that can this, only be a good thing. But is this the kind of attention that you're now used to getting? Well, I have been an actor now for quite a, quite a while. So, yeah, I guess it comes with the territory. Yeah, but I have to say that I do this for a living, but I've not been oh, offered company <laughs> ever before. <laughs> the show is called Spill the Tea. But I know that you like coffee. I do. So I thought it'd be fun if I were to request you to make me a good cup of coffee. I'll Goes be honored. well with the rains. We have a coffee machine just here. So lovely. Just so happens to be here. Yeah. Uh, let's do it. Ah, can't do without Subtle the branding. branding. <laughs> Subtle branding. Uh, Subtle. Okay. So what do you want? What do we have here? You want a cappuccino? I would like. Yeah. What, or you how, want how? a latte, a macchiato? I'm a black coffee guy. So. You make a good cup of coffee yourself? That, that is something I'm able to do. And pretty much only that. A decent omelette every now and then, but yeah, the black coffee is my forte. Well, I really did want to do this chat over a meal, but apparently your new uh, fitness regime... I don't eat, not... so it's only I'm, I'm, I, 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 don't, I don't get to eat. I was really bummed to hear you say in an interview that to look like this, you need to sign off on having a life. Just say that it's a joke, please. They said, no, it was, I, I, no, no, it's not like you don't have a life. It's just that you have to be pretty disciplined if you want to stay at like a really low weight, I guess. And you have to be watching what you eat and eat healthy stuff. And I like the grease. I like my food. I like my greasy stuff. I like my pizza. I like my biryani and my mutton curries and all that. So for me, uh, yeah, I can see it's a you bit of a... just go far, far away. <laughs> yeah, I was place. like spacing out well. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that has to just be good enough, you know. Okay, so ca cappuccino then. Okay. Sugar? No sugar. Sugar? I can sugar. do sugar. Do you do sugar? I know. <laughs> See what I mean? You've gone for brown sugar. Dude, I can do the regular stuff, you yeah. know? Yeah. Why not? Oh, lovely, it's working and all that. For some reason, I, I had my doubts about this. No, no. Do you use a coffee machine or are you... No, I don't do the hitoing one anymore. It's just uh, coffee beans and the Aeropress. Oh, fancy. Yeah, fancy but very, very convenient. Three minutes and you have a cup of coffee. Nice. Okay. One. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. And no, 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 it's not done. Oh, it's not done? No. Okay. No, that doesn't look clean. <laughs> um, we don't need a spoon unless you want to do it with your finger. No, I'm okay with that. Oh, there, there. We can, ah. we can, we can get a spoon. Yes, a spoon. Everything just miraculously appears on spill the tea. Yeah, should be easy to find a spoon in a hotel. So, <laughs> okay. Are you gonna get a cup of coffee? I will. Awesome. I will most Let's definitely. make you a cup of coffee. Yes. <laughs> See, Getting you to do all the work, <laughs> yeah. huh? Obviously, you know that so much of your popularity is also pegged to this easy-going, boy-next-door, laid-back vibe that, that you have. It's hmm. just there. How, how protective are you of it? Like, do you really hold on to that? I don't actually give it too much thought and look at it as something that I have to fight to hold on to. I, I just, I think it's just how I am. Um, can't be any other way, even if I tried. So, it doesn't feel like it's a constant struggle. Um, so yeah. Even even in today's day and age, where so much of what you say and do is uh, has to be curated by teams and teams of people. Mm, yeah, I I tend to kind of not do much press or interviews other than when I'm promoting Which a is film. Which why I started off saying I've been trying to make this happen <laughs> oh, I didn't for know really that. long. Okay. Welcome to Film yeah. Companion. <laughs> yeah, so I don't I don't really, really get out there very much. It's, it tends to happen a lot when you're shooting. For when you're promoting a film, 
uh, but yes one does have to be careful about what they say uh, in public uh, but that is that's an age old thing i guess i don't think that's a new phenomenon mm -hmm. yeah why why i actually asked this is because the last time i interviewed you which was a few years ago we were at fashion week and you were complaining to me about how you you're the kind of guy that really enjoys shopping on linking road which is street shopping in mm -hmm. mumbai but your stylist won't let you go buy shorts from there has that changed now yeah i only like that's the thing i buy the most shorts <laughs> uh yeah i go to set in shorts i'm in shorts all the time yeah for me like comfort is the key so no no one has managed to get me to stop buying those no so you bought two pairs day before yesterday of my stylist <laughs> 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 i said i'm not wearing that in the film but i'll take those so, so you're truly holding on yeah, to yeah, you that i'm not letting go of to you yeah for okay. sure awesome so we're going to walk outside uh, i thought we might as well get some cardio in i'm being really um, uh, yeah. understanding of your uh, yeah. current you're making me feel extremely <laughs> vain about my <laughs> <laughs> self <laughs> again miraculously uh, oh have, look who's there uh, you looking like a lean mean machine machine yeah I, that's well put yeah i can very well imagine this poster going up on like young boys walls Uh, as motivation. That would be cool, huh? That would be pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, because I had like I had those posters up on my walls, like Who's those action films. Who's on your films. wall? I had Schwarzenegger and Stallone, and Van Damme. These three posters were up. <clears throat> also, George Michael and Madonna and all that. But mm -hmm. yeah, the action films. I, I was a huge action buff. So, so like I didn't actually think about that. Like this people think up like it. some young this. boys' wall. Yeah. That would be cool. Uh, I found like this uh, spot outside for us to walk and talk. Lovely. Really fighting the banquet hall. Uh, yeah, though we haven't completely been able to uh, no, no, avoid the banquet hall. The Hardcore Mumbai ki barish wala vibe. I'm so glad the rains have finally come though. It was a hot summer that we went through. How do you enjoy the monsoon? By being at home. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's ideal, right? If you can just be at home with a cup of coffee. But I would imagine you on your bike, kind of. Yeah, that too. That too. Yeah, getting completely drenched is also part of the fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, somehow you kind of come across as the guy who will always find ways to do the normal stuff that a lot of actors kind of just sign up, sign off from doing. How do you manage to get that in? Like, how do you manage to go under the radar? So this is uh, actually very, uh, very important to me. The whole silver lining for the pandemic for me has been the, the mask. <laughs> it's, no way. Yeah, it's great, right? Because then, like, at least you cut down sixty percent of the people who are coming, so you can get away with going to a bunch of places without that mask. So I am continuing to wear this mask far into the future, <laughs> when people are like, "What is that guy doing?" He's got to be a dead end. Let's not give it out. But yeah, these things are very, very important to me because it just gives, makes me makes me feel like I'm still just like feel normal, you know, feel like I'm out there, feeling like I'm connecting with people and connecting with life as it is. So raining also it as is, we speak. It is. And you're cool. Before you look, you're on your nose. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Done. Thank you. Thank huh. you. Do you also feel that um, we're at a time today where? Having this sort of body that everyone's talking about, is that work now? For a film like this, for sure. Okay. This is an action film of where course. you're supposed to sell this kind of larger than life image, this machismo. Hmm. Supposed to look like you can beat like 50 people up in one go. You can't. I mean, uh, I supposed to be. Like, <laughs> but I can now after that I've trained. But um, so for a film like this, it's important. Okay. If I was doing a regular romantic comedy, I'm playing a. Just a normal guy. Hmm. I think that would be wrong. It would be counterproductive to look like this guy is in the gym two, three hours a day because he's obviously not. He's just a normal guy. So I think uh, horses for courses. You have to do it um, depending on what the role demands. Obviously, action films are the flavor of the season, and they're doing so well. But tell me about what it is being an actor that people are talking about. See, for, honestly, I. This is my first one, so I don't have the experience um, in the genre for enough amount of time to be able to tell you. I think maybe after a couple, I would have been able to understand uh, understand what comes with the territory. So far, yeah, I think I mean I've only shot the film so far; it hasn't released. But it's something that I was by the last year shoot when we packed up, I was hooked because we had done twelve days of a climax where I was just fighting guys every day. 
and my director and producer were like listen you're not going to feel like when you when you go into your next film you're going to feel like what is this ye kya hai like what am i doing a normal scene and i actually didn't feel like that because it's an adrenaline rush when you're beating up people and you you feel invincible huh? it you feel good you feel good and i felt that it's a kind of t- tasted blood i saw like really giddying fame with ashiki 2 and that that lover boy and that poster boy and so that's not get limiting at all limiting in the sense if you if you allow it to limit you um if you only then try and seek out things that are like that yes when something like that works uh, people tend to offer you things that are similar so it's up to you it's incumbent upon you to choose wisely then and uh, and and make those choices so that you don't get typecast and you don't get pigeon hold into doing only one dimensional things so that could happen and and it's just part of the beat but how do you keep stuff interesting for yourself i know that uh, the hack is the mask and you go out and get a lot of stuff done but but what kind of breaks you out of like uh, a rut if you find yourself falling into one if you are interested in different things they, they can just like take your mind off um for me it's music i play the guitar i i have some friends that i jam with um this all those two hours you don't end up thinking about anything else in the world even if you want to be just like go to pass that ball or be in the moment um travel always tends to open up your mind and you always do come back with a new perspective and uh, peace so i think there are many different things as long as you're interested in them that can keep you the nature of uh, friendship change as you get more famous in the sense the kids you grew up with do they um treat you differently they don't even uh, call me when my trailers are out and stuff yeah they like <laughs> my trailer are <laughs> So they, they don't even like. <laughs> yeah, but I like it. It's fine. They don't even know. I'm like, do my trailers out? Uh, so I don't even ask them anymore. That was a while ago. So no, it hasn't changed, and I wouldn't want that to change. Clearly, one can see that you're really pushing the envelope with home. Uh, what is it that you're hoping that the audience sees? I hope I'm hoping that the audience feels like they got a complete film, and like it's. Um, and like they were entertained at different levels so uh, so i'm hoping that the audience feels like they've been uh, they've gotten their money's worth uh, and it's not just action they've seen a story that they that they enjoyed as well nice nice and finally before i let you go uh, do you still recognize the guy from channel v with the afro like what would you tell him if you were to see him today i tell him to keep the afro <laughs> really <laughs> yeah but it's not so easy i don't think uh, too many I don't think there have been too many uh, six yeah with afros running around, so that had to go. But I'll I'll grow it back one day for a role, I'm sure. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait. I think it'll be fun. It'll be good. We we'll just find the right role. Yeah. Imagine that's that's one way of looking at it. Yeah. I want this hair in a movie. Now find me the script. <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting with me. Hi guys, I was just on spill the tea with Sneha. If you enjoyed this video, then you can subscribe to Film Companion.